Hello everybody, and welcome to the first episode of my map making series. And in this series, I'm going to be making a custom map. And so basically what I want to do is uh, make a like an adventure map. And I want to show you guys all the uh, different little tricks and tips and stuff I'm going to be using. Um, so let me briefly explain what the map is going to be like. It's going to be like a uh, RPG style map. So you're like an adventurer and you go from like a village to village doing quests and all sorts of things. Fun like that. Um, but I'm going to be putting my own uh, spin on the map. And uh, yeah, an epic plot line as well. <laughs> Alright, so the first things I'm going to tell you um, are I'm using... Well, I'm using Optifine by the way. If you want to know what mods I'm using, Optifine and single player commands. And uh, yeah, this is going to help me a lot using a lot of these different commands. And I'm going to show you how to, uh, uh, well, I'm going to show you like what commands I'm using and uh, how to use them pretty effectively. Um, and also I'm going to be using MC Edit quite a lot as well. Uh, there's a lot of different things I have plans to use that. And yeah, that may help you as well. So I hope while making this uh, map, you guys are going to learn a few things about map making yourselves. Alright, so you might have noticed these signs here. These are just, uh, um, I just wrote down these signs where I want to build these things. So right here is a windmill. And over here is... A uh, increase elevation for a house and barn. So I'm gonna build a house and barn here. That's gonna be the first thing. Um, I'm gonna do all like the main building parts uh, off screen because I'm sure that'll bore you a little bit. Uh, but right now I'm gonna use a few commands. Let's see. So to use single player commands, um, to use brushes, basically I'm gonna type slash brush uh, cylinder. Yep. Yeah that's gonna create a, a cylinder um, let's see grass that's the material and then the size and I'll make it size 4 And then when I right click on the ground let me show you there it creates like a cylinder so basically I plan on uh, just raising the elevation here yep just like that and because I've chosen the seed because it's got a lot of planes uh, and then there's a forest over there, which I'm going to make a uh, custom forest later. Uh, but it's way too hilly. I don't like the huge hills that they have. Because I'm going to make a farm today. And, uh, yeah, I don't want all these hills and stuff. Now, I have another tip for you. You should always build with the landscape, with the natural Minecraft landscape. Uh, so, um, and I know I just totally, like, created this uh, flat area here. But that's just because... Well, this is a farm, and I don't want, like, rolling hills for where the crops are on. Um, so, I'm going to leave this mountain here. That's where the windmill goes on, because naturally a windmill would go on uh, high areas, like hills and stuff. Uh, but these have got to go, so I'm going to use I've got another brush here. Slash brush, smooth, uh, four, and that's just going to smooth this down. Just smooth it back a little bit. Um just the edges along here. I know it's not going to remove the hill. I can I can do it a different way, but I don't want to remove it entirely because, like I said, build with the landscape a little bit. Okay, I've got this tool out again. You know, this tool does this cylinder thing. And to get rid of this hill, I'm going to use slash mat, which stands for material, and air. And then I can just go like this. And it gets rid of it all. Yep. Um, and I think I'm going to build the uh, the house, or maybe the barn. Go right around here. Hmm. I'll get rid of another layer. And now this is looking like acceptable terrain. So all this here is going to be all uh, wheat and here are going to be my buildings where these animals are. Um, right here, in the center of the house can go there. Okay. 
Um, let's see. Something like one. Oops. One, two, three, one. Um, so the way I'm building is like this. Actually, this is gonna be. Yeah, I'll just build it like this for now. And this would be a window. Um, and then I'll just build something like that. Whoops, one, two, three, this, one, two, three, this, one. That's going to be the entrance there. So I'm building by threes, obviously. That's a, uh, that's the way I build my medieval style anyways. Egg. Whoops. One, two, three, and one, two, three. Okay. And then I'm going to build up three... And then go up by two here. And then one. Fill in cobblestone. So, uh, this is gonna be like kind of like a side room here. And then this is like the main area right here. One, two, three. One, two, three. So, I'll go up by two there as well. And I'll skip. I'll skip the rest of this. Oh, I made a mistake. I'll skip the rest of the building and yeah, skip to the finished product. Alright everybody, the house is pretty much complete. This is the interior. It's a door, windows, and I've got a crafting bench and chest and this is a cauldron with water and a basic table. And here I have built the fireplace. So, I'm about to light it, but first I want to do a command, and this is in regular Minecraft, by the way, you can do this. Slash game rule, do fire tick, and then false, and, uh, and that'll make it so that fire won't spread, so it won't burn down the house. So yeah, there it is. Um, and now to do a little uh, decorating with you guys. Let me show you, I'm going to use some cobwebs. And uh, I'm just going to place one in there, and another there, and just like that. And that'll add some, uh, you know, just decoration to the house. And also, um, not all of this cobblestone is going to be cobblestone. I'm just going to switch it around a little bit, add a few bricks here and there. Um, but I'll use a command for that. And I'll do that now. Let me just show you. The exterior, and yeah, it's pretty basic, um, but it's pretty nice. So I'm just gonna throw down some cobwebs uh, to represent smoke, just like this. Just fill it in a little bit, and there. Okay, so on to the command. Um, let me see. Use a pickaxe. Slash brush sphere. Uh, um, I'll say 30% stone stone brick, comma uh, 70 whoops, percent cobblestone, and I'll switch that to actually 80% and. 20%. And the size will be uh, 3. That should work. Yep. And then slash mask cobblestone. And what slash mask does, uh, it makes it so that um, whatever I set the mask to, it can only do it on those blocks. So I've masked cobblestone. So this tool will only work on cobblestone. So watch. I think I did it wrong. No, it looks right. There's too much stone brick though, so I may have not got the numbers right. Um, but that's fine, I can just, just do that. There's too much here. Actually, no, I'll leave that. I'll put that there. Um, this has way too much. So I should add smaller number numbers, I guess. needs to go there 
so I should add smaller numbers, but this is definitely too much. There and there. Okay, th this is like the proportionality that I want. Um, and then I'm going to go around placing uh, stairs there, there, there. Um, these are supposed to like represent uh, supports, I guess, <laughs> to the house. And then there. Oops. Just like that. And then for here, I'll go around with this. Just all the way around. Just like that. And this can be uh, stone brick. There. And yep, that is the house. Looking pretty nice. I haven't actually seen that before done where it's like a, you know, a mixture between cobblestone and stone brick. So I thought I'd try that out. And I think it looks pretty nice. So, so yeah, that's the house. Um, let's see. Now I'll add a barn. I was going to add it there, but that, I think that's just a little bit too close to the river. Um, I'll add it right around here. So let me get out uh, this. Was it this brush? Okay, I got to type it in again. Slash brush. Cylinder. Grass four. There we go. And I'll just make a little bit more room. There. Okay, and then the barn will go right here. And I'll make that now. Alright, so it is ready. Here is the barn. Um, so on the inside here, we're going to put down some hay, which is going to be yellow wool. It's going to go here. And this is just a little tool shed, which we can just add chests in. And I'm sure I can use this at a later day uh, for some sort of quest or something like that. So I'll just throw in a few cobwebs. That should be good. And uh, But first, I'm going to use this tool. Uh, I rewrote it to 90%. A cobblestone 10% stone brick uh, so let's hope this works yep just gonna add stone brick a little bit here and there this is wrong <laughs> there we go there we go and we're done so now I can just add well I'm gonna add the cobwebs there and actually there and there. And I can add just some yellow wool piled around. Just like that. And then uh, up here as well. Get some cobwebs. Just like that. And the yellow wool can just go there. And just Whatever. Just like that. That's good. There. Alright, so we finished the barn. And uh, now for the fun part. This is this is the crazy part, actually. Let's get rid of all this. Now we're going to make the actual wheat field. And I'm going to use another command, and it's going to be a rather uh, complicated command. Um, and Actually, I'm going to use two. Two, di two different tools. Let's use diamonds, just like this. The first one is slash brush sphere, 10% uh, water, 90% farmland, and three. And what this is going to do is when I right click on the ground, it's going to create um, like tilled soil and then occasional um, water blocks. So that'll keep it, um, you know. Uh, watered or whatever it's called uh, and this one is gonna place the crops so slash uh, oh yeah I gotta mask this as grass um, and I'm actually gonna do this now so let's see it'll go yep see that's what it looks like that looks good it'll just go right around the whole place like this 
and it's going to be massive, just so you know. Um, some of them are unfortunately reverting back to dirt, but uh, that can't be helped. I'll have to fix those at a later date. And then the other tool is going to be um, for seeds. And I'm just going to change a few of these. And that is wrong. <laughs> that should not be like that. And then we're going to make a path and uh, whatever. So I'm going to go around with this. This this guy owns quite a lot of land. Ah, This is not going to go too well with those... Uh, running water. It's too bad. There. I'll have to fix those later, like I said. Um, yeah, I'll continue at this. Okay, there you have it. That is the farm. Uh, now, the next command is going to be slash. Well, I had a little trouble with my tool there, so uh, <laughs> yeah, let me redo this slash brush sphere crops colon seven three um then slash mask greater than farmland that makes everything uh, like it masks everything above farmland um, and then slash slash g mask air 31 37 and 38 and what that does is puts a global mask which I think applies to all tools on um, air 31 37 and 38 which is well air and then um, tall grass and flowers and stuff so this should work and it does there we go so now I'm just gonna grow all the crops just like this and when I did the colon 7 thing, um, that made it grow. Yeah. 7 is like the, the last stage, so. Okay, so I just reviewed the footage, and I've recorded for way too long. So I'm going to split the first episode up into uh, two episodes, and you'll see the finishing touches added to the farm in next episode. So, thank you so much for watching the first episode. If you could pretty please leave a like just because this is the first episode and I really want a lot of people to see because I know a lot of people uh, would love to see a series like this. Um, so, if you could uh, please leave a like and a comment. Tell me um, if you have any ideas for this map or tell me any uh, anything that you think I should add or any tricks and tips uh, that you have. Uh, please leave those in the comment section below. And as I said, thanks for watching.